Welcome back to Making Made Easy. On the last video, I showed you how to run Mistral 7B on only about 2 gigabytes of RAM. It's unquantized. No GPU. Looking at you, Olama. Okay, so now the reason you're watching this video. Let's go over the upgrades. I've added the ability for it to preload as many layers that will fit in RAM as possible, and then uh, it just does the layer by layer for the rest. Which, by the way, I'm calling my layer by layer technique overloading. I did some testing with my good computer. It's able to hold all the layers for the model in memory at once. If I set it to where it overloads layer by layer for every single layer, then it takes about 22 seconds per token. And that's that's just using the RAM, not, not the GPU or anything. When I had it preload all the layers, it took about 5 seconds per token. When I had it preload about half the layers, it took about... 13 to 15 seconds. So it's it's pretty proportional. And then the next update I've done is expanding on the preloading and I've allowed it to preload some of the layers onto the GPU, as many that will fit, and then it preloads the rest onto the RAM, as many that'll fit, and then it overloads the rest of them that are left over. It'll be a proportional speed increase depending on how many you fit on the GPU. It's not as dramatic as just going from straight loading every single layer one by one to uh, preloading all the layers. You know, it's not uh, as much of an increase as that, but it's still, you'll get a couple seconds improvement uh, per token versus only the RAM having stuff preloaded. My next upgrade goal is getting it working with more and much larger models. Theoretically, you should be able to run a hundred billion or more parameter model on like less than 12 gigabytes of RAM. The layer sizes on a large model like that aren't much bigger than the layer sizes on Mistral 7B. They're just more of them and they're just slightly built different. But doing it layer by layer, it still really won't use that much RAM. So almost anyone will be able to run, you know, Llama 70B, uh, DeepSeek R1, all that stuff, you know, all the actual worthwhile models almost anyone will be able to run them. So, that's next on the list. Which models do you want it to support? Leave a comment below and let me know. Also, I hope you guys are ready to start seeing the ChatGPT robot again. It's got a whole new brain and it's not ChatGPT anymore.